Hey guys, welcome back to B&B, &B, whereas if you can't tell, we're working on a witch farm. Um, so we found this whilst we were out on the great uh, ocean hunt the other day. Um, me, Charlie, um, Mad Frank, I think even Forrest may have been there. We all went out for a bit of a wander around and we found this. Uh, there, there's ocean over that way, that's why I know about this. Um, and because we found it and it was relatively open, nowhere near as open as this, I'll, I'll explain what's been going on around in a second, uh, we decided, well I decided mainly, and now I've been pulling everyone else into joining in, to make a witch farm. And there's a creeper over there, meaning something isn't right. Uh, okay, we're going to run away for a second. Um, no we're not, we're going to kill him. So, uh, that was at the beginning of the weekend, this is now the end. Um, and I'm going to go around and show you lots of little patches like this. Uh, oh, oh, that that sounds a bit serious. Um, well, I suppose I'll be back after that. So it's been a little while after that, and um, oh my god, these guys have been getting stuff done. Um, so when we started all this, the the whole area was kind of like this over here but the the rivers were much deeper uh, we've been filling in areas that are something like six blocks deep which doesn't sound a lot but when you think it goes all the way of like this sort of U shape and then goes for I don't know 20 30 blocks in this direction um, yeah you, you get an idea of how much work has actually been put in. is this the the current work face uh, yeah, yeah look at that so the the entire thing has been like this and uh people like Lustria, Misaligned, Mimsy, um they they've all been putting in like some serious time to make this the the wonderful expanse that it is. Um hopefully I can get through here to show you how good it is. Um so we've gone a hundred and hundred and twenty eight blocks away from every every side of the witch spawner or you know the what was the witch hut and made it this beautifully flat expanse um mainly to keep down squid numbers because whilst yes they do have a uh, a separate um mob cap there's still a total mob cap that that can be uh, affected by them i mean just look at this area you see where all this stone was the, this is the stuff that you know was land and then everywhere there's dirt is basically a river that's been filled in and oh, there's just so much has been done um, but that's all sort of groundwork for the actual device itself let's let's go over and have a look um, so last time a creeper spawned up uh, this time hopefully we fixed that or oh, I fixed that um, let's get in and have a look uh, also in the background you'll notice that there's a new build this is the sorting mechanism and storage area for everything so let's just bring my boat to a stop and uh, hopefully no one will be walking on this um, hello island golem he's the one who does all the all the heavy work um, so let, let's explain what's going on here it's basically the same unit flipped round um, so we can explain well, we can explain both sides from this side if you will. So the first thing that happens is tripwire goes and it turns these two torches off. So this one here and then that one would be on the other side. Um, that lets our magical quartz timing devices loose. Uh, there's another hopper under here. Um, so that ticks over, sets off this monostable circuit which it turns out is very important else the, uh, the two signals munge up with each other and the pistons just cry and push against each other and that's no good. So on one side you need a monostable to turn it into a very short pulse and then the other side it doesn't matter so much um, because it's delayed beyond the pulse and then it's not getting triggered again because the witch has dropped so it's okay the whole cycle starts again and if a witch does happen to still be stood there it's not until it clicks back and then goes again that we need another monostable pulse. So that's all good. Um, uh, underneath that floor there, uh, I, I've got a, I've got a ladder here. Let's go. Over underneath this floor here, we have a hopper system all feeding into this, which is already overflowing. So this is why I've started work on this delivery system back here. Uh, it might just be a water stream at the moment, but it does go and do stuff. Um, I need to replace it all with. Um, uh, replace the floor underneath there all with uh, ice which would be um, 
very useful for, for speeding things up. And then all the items come in. You, you should recognize this stack here as a, an item elevator. Um, I love these things. They're, they're, they use some weird glitch of like um, item mechanics. When, when items get put into a, a solid block, they, they do all sorts of weird like get thrown around type stuff. This is this basically what keeps messing me up with the chicken machine. Um, so the item flows along and if if I can look down there there's two there's two fence posts. Yeah you can just see them. One that is just a singular fence post on its own because it has transparent blo transparent blocks either side so it's just a post. And then the one behind it is connected to like all this iron ore around it so that turns it into a solid block so when the item gets pushed down the side of the actual fence post um, it then gets pushed into the solid block and then it glitches up through up to that top layer there where I have made a filtering system um, now hopefully we can get up this way let's go have a look uh, it's a rather basic filtering system works off the um, you know comparators and the hopper system you know where a, like a hopper is set up on the very edge of being ticking over to the next strength of redstone signal which then pushes these pistons down which turns off some redstone which allows the hoppers to flow uh, and then obviously when the hoppers emptied enough it pulls the piston up which stops the hopper flowing so it should be relatively easy to follow um, if I can get up there we'll, we'll Oh, I'm not going to be able to because these are all half slabs. So I don't like the, the the design on the floor. It took me and misaligned a an age to get this this right because I, as always, I built these two things independently and then tried to bring them together in the middle and that that never works. But we we managed to get this nice curvy path on the go here, which I I kind of like. It's this weird sort of spiral thing, um, and I intend to have. You'll notice that there's there's six sortings here and you get seven items from witches now this is for everything apart from the glowstone uh, the glowstone I'm gonna have kept I don't know where but in its own little secret well not even a secret room quite an obvious room but as you walk through or down this set of stairs uh, you're gonna trip a tripwire somewhere uh, I'm not sure where possibly here maybe a bit further on um, I'd like it done as soon as possible so people can't just like jump over the edge and cheat but yeah, uh, you get a trip a trip wire, which will throw an item onto a pressure pad, closing the door to the glowstone room, forcing people to stand here for five minutes if they want glowstone, which I think is quite a, a good idea for um, making sure people spawn witches. Uh, I'm a little disappointed at the the spawn rates at the moment, but to be fair, we've not gone caving. Um, this is just just from flattening the area, and we've we've got a lot of random things around that need need addressing. Uh, caving is going to be a, a big issue. Um, it, it's going to take, I don't know, several several teams. Though to be fair, this has taken several teams. Um, where we can organise ourselves and make sure we leave notes for each other and basically go down and clear the entire area with x-ray machines. Well, what, I, what I really want to do, like really, really want to do, is um, hollow out underneath as well. Uh, so, not just so we can be cool and be like hey look under this it's also really big and expansive but also so we can be like so we can find things like all the spawners that are under there and make good use of them um also any slime chunks that happen to be around that wouldn't be bad um yeah and the other big thing that i'm working on well that, that we are working on sorry not not this is by no means a singular effort. This is the, this is like the first thing that we've done as a serious server group effort. So I, I'm I'm more than a little bit chuffed with how things are going on here. Uh, but yeah, there's this thing over here. Um, obviously, we need a sunshade because during the day, uh, witches will not spawn because of the 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 daylight. So I've thrown up a a temporary structure there. Um, but as you may be able to tell from the handle, and the handle is facing the wrong direction because of the AFK hive really uh, I should go and fix that at some point but that's going to be quite difficult <coughs> but yeah um, this is, I'm gonna make a little sun parasol sunshade parasol um, but I, I'm not really sure of the design here I, I mean I've had a couple of ideas either I go for the you know sort of the, the classic beach ball color stripped um, 
umbrella type design or I think one that I might like to do is put a witch's face on it so it's kind of a witch parasol or perhaps a skull wow that's a long way or perhaps a skull and crossbone oh that's that's a little bit annoying after climbing up all the way but right I, I do believe I've actually told you everything that is needed to be said in this particular uh, progress update um, you'll notice all these little arrows pointing down everywhere um, where's the there's another one over there uh, these are just markers to show where cave entrances are for when we're caving and then you can see the little side markers that that's the distance from that one there to that one there and there's another one all the way over there and there'll be another one on the other side which should be just out of view um, but yeah uh, and of course the work camp with the prototypes and stuff and that's all our resources yeah I think that's everything I had to say um, so yeah we'll be back in a bit with hopefully a better looking um, AFK hut and and something more to report Yo dog, I heard you like pixels, so I put pixels in your pixels so you can pixel why we pixel. Pix. <laughs> You're right guys. Uh, so, back at spawn, um, because first off I wanted to show you my awesome te um, texture pack. This is R3D Craft, uh, default realism, not smooth, because I like my jagged edges. Um, yeah, uh, and, and that's that bit. It's really nice. It's literally like the default skin just with a bit of extra texture to it. Uh, unfortunately, the, the things for 1.7 haven't been done. Well, that's a lie because things like glass have been done. But, um, like, uh, 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 where is it? This one. The uh, dark oak hasn't been done, which seems a bit weird to me because all you do is, is just redo that, right? It's just a different colour yeah isn't it am i wrong but anyway um ooh, let's do a bit of zombie cleanup uh and, uh yeah and we're back at spawn so that i can show you the wonders that have happened oh well first the wonders that is the spawn map project uh enderborn got on with this uh I, yeah the, this is an amazing amount of work uh this goes all the way front well so this is spawn obviously in the middle here uh this circle here is that that thing over there um so we've got my my place and decipher's place and that's lustrias and blunties and lego slabs uh, we've got forests all the way up there um and then we've got people like mcfly living here um and that's the weird ring that we can't see from here damn it uh and that's the spider spawner so what we're going to do at some point is go around and write little labels uh, up in the sky for these places like this is the spider spawner and up there all the way up there is the skeleton spawner no wait no that's penguin's place up up there there in fact is the skeleton spawner uh and maybe some sort of scaffolding so we can get up and have a look without going oh what's going on up there um but yeah we came here so not just to look at that but to also show you the path towards the witch hut so let's pop in here um and hopefully we won't get jumped by gas the moment we're in there but just in case we do i've brought some arrows and a bow uh, and once the the lag of map load has stopped oh look there's no gas here wonderful so this area forest has been doing some wonderful work on it's all been opened up and we've got some some um some walls and the you know, the, the, the overworld is kind of fighting its way through i'm sure this was tendrils rather than just a patch oh well um yeah uh, so the overworld's trying to fight, fight its way through but more important is this cobble bridge uh so we know this cobble bridge from earlier because this is uh enderborn's uh place or rather that over there just coming out of the fog is enderborn's place but we've kind of requisitioned this for a, for a secondary use so we, we've increased its width uh, and i wouldn't mind putting some some arrows down the middle no no not some arrows down the middle some sort of um line down the middle just just some way of denoting that this is the way to the witch hut i mean we're going to put um signs and stuff up but uh, a, a solid line of color wouldn't go amiss but yeah so that's the way to enderborns but we're, we're not going that way we're, we're, we're traveling up here uh forest made this nice little stairway this is lovely i like this um including the road here and then both me and him worked on this forest put the uh the the stairs in and i was like mm, we need we need some grandeur so i put in some arches and a bit of bit of lava uh, i still think it's missing stuff it's not 
it, it's not as grand as it could be uh in particular things like this cobble floor I, I i don't like it it needs to have some sort of base to to sit down on um oh look some xp Does this mean there's angry pigment about Oh well, we'll just be just be aware. Um, so yeah, carrying on up here. Oh, they're everywhere. Ah. Um, I particularly enjoy the the lava under half slabs. Uh, everyone seems scared of it, but trust me, it is completely safe. Uh, and up here, we've uh, we've not quite done anything. We were planning out some things for it, but no, nothing's really come into effect. Uh, like this bit here. Um, like this is a one wide wall over this side. So we want to. I want to take that away and make another like sort of flimsy suspension bridge so we can see all this down here because that that's that's pretty scary right it scares me wow so many pigmen uh, I thought torches would stop them spawning or have they spawned in this dark patch here <coughs> I don't know I don't know we'll have to find out how we can stop pigmen spawning if it's only half slabs then then stuff that I'm not I'm not going to half slab the entire entirety of the nether though saying that over that way um i've come the wrong way so i can't show you but over that way forest has started half slabbing up so we can get um more nether uh not nether wet wither wither skulls that's the one wither skulls <coughs> um which incidentally i have three of um i've just been going around killing things randomly uh well not randomly i've been going around trying to farm with the skeletons um, and I finally achieved it but we'll talk about that later because right now we're talking about this AFK hut so as you can see you come through the, the the portal and all is good why is my world not loading wow dropping frames and uh, having horrendous lag I tell you what I'm gonna come back in a second when this has all sorted itself out and we're back up to a, a reasonable frame rate oh well that's much better rate of frames um, so yeah, the outside of the the witch hut is looking good. Well, that that's the witch hut, but the the AFK hut. Uh, I think it's looking good. But then I would. I did most of the work on it. Uh, I didn't quite realise that the roof was going to be quite so un un unobservable. I don't know, unobtrusive. Uh, I thought it was going to be a bit more of a thing. Um, and, and around these sides it really has been a bit more of a thing and that, that's quite good but I think on that that major bit above the uh, above the nether portal needs a lot of work um, I also think maybe around these windows could do with some work but then at the same time I'm worried about doing <coughs> making too much of a mess if if you'll excuse the 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 term uh, like like this side I'm not I'm not overly certain on this side I think I may have made it a little bit too busy but at the same time I also quite like it so uh yeah drop me a comment guys so uh, tell me what you think of this um so let's let's go have a look at the inside now most people aren't going to be approaching from this side and that that is something to bear in mind when i when i come here most people will be coming from the nether portal uh so let's jump out here uh we do intend to have a rail line coming in um from a distance away uh, and I'm not sure how I'm going to put a non-spawnable rail line in on uh, I don't know like half slabs just above the roof or something but notice this open doorway here and notice the trip wire in front of the portal so people come in and they go dum 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 trip the trip wire and the glow glowstone room closes now if they want sticks gunpowder redstone any of the good stuff that comes from witches normally then they are more than welcome to help themselves straight off but glowstone i have a feeling glowstone people are going to come down steal a load of it and then disappear without actually letting witches have time to spawn so what i've done is put a five minute timer on here um so that players literally cannot gain access whilst the timer is ticking over um which should be all right i mean there are ways to circumnavigate it obviously um but you know we we're, we're a nice happy bunch of players here we should we we should be nice and and uh respectful should we say of the of the glowstone and the witch witch farm um so yeah ho hopefully this will be a nice uh regulating system uh i've got one or two quick things to do to finish this build but I really think they're gonna have to happen next time guys because uh, I've run out of time uh, all in all uh, the, the, you know this is um, quite a long episode as it stands and we've not really well to be fair we that there, there's been a lot done I mean look you can barely see it all these trees were stood on land 
and now they're all little freestanding things so they're, they're, there's a lot has been done it just doesn't look all that impressive at the end I'm sure if you go through and look at the beginning of the video and the end of the video um, it, it's more than a little bit impressive but sat here at the the end of it, it it doesn't feel like too much has been done you know a building a witch hut uh, we've not even done the parasol properly but yeah, as i say thank you very much for joining me and the entire server for this particular building adventure uh if you'd like to come and help us out either drop a line in the comments and i'll give you the uh the the, the server ip or if you look through my videos it will be there somewhere uh so yeah thank you very much guys and i will see you next time bye